Hey, what is up questers and welcome back to BMF. Today we're talking about laptops. Specifically, we're talking about laptops and whether you should use them for playing PC VR games, both through Link and through virtual desktop. I'm gonna give you some tips, some hints, and tell you how to set it up exactly so it'll work properly for you to be able to play. This video today is made possible by Intel and Asus. Huge shout out and thank you to them for sending me the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15, powered by the 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. So I've been asked several times, should I buy a laptop or a desktop? Well, it comes down to what you have to spend and what you want to do with it. I use a desktop most of the time, but with this laptop, I did some testing and it works really well, especially on the road. So if you're going to be traveling or you want to be able to move to a space, maybe in your house, that's a little farther away from your router, laptops can be a good option. When it comes to setting up your laptop to play on the go with you with Link and with Virtual Desktop, it's just the same thing as setting up a desktop PC. What I'm going to do is put a link down in the description to a video I just released that'll go over how to set up Virtual Desktop and the Oculus Link for a PC. It'll give you everything you need to know to get it set up to play PC VR games. Now that you have the software set up on your laptop, it becomes a question of whether you want to use the Link cable or whether you want to use Virtual Desktop. One awesome part about the laptop, the Zephyrus 15 that Intel and Asus sent me is you can set it up to directly connect to your laptop. So instead of using a router, I can directly connect wirelessly to my laptop and play it as a hotspot so it actually connects directly, not going through a router, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your laptop is connected to a Wi-Fi or ethernet connection. Ethernet connection would be better, and a lot of times in hotel rooms, when you're traveling, they'll give you an ethernet connection at the desk to connect to, but if not, you can still connect with Wi-Fi. That's a requirement, just make sure those are done and connected. Next up, go down to your search bar and type in hotspot. You'll see under settings that it says mobile hotspot, so click on that. Next up, make sure you turn the switch at the top to on, where it says share my internet connection with other devices. It'll then show you your settings on how to connect. You can either have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. In this instance, you want to do Wi-Fi. Now you're gonna see down below where it says network name. It'll give you the name of the network you need to connect to, as well as the network password and the network band. Make sure this band is set to five gigahertz because that is the speed at which you're gonna to need to play games with virtual desktop without any issues. You can set it to 2.4 or any available, but in this instance, we want five gigahertz because that's what we really need to make virtual desktop work properly. Once that's set up, all you gotta do is jump into your quest, find this network name, type the password in, and you are directly connected to your laptop. The benefit of this is that you get a direct connection to your laptop instead of going through a router, and when you're traveling, whether you're in a hotel room or maybe some spotty Wi-Fi at a relative's house, you don't have to worry about connecting through the router. You can connect directly to your laptop. The next step to setting up your laptop is getting SideQuest enabled, and that's a big step. That actually allows you to add games and awesome experiences, most of which are free, onto your Quest on the go without having to worry about connecting to a desktop PC. I'll put a link down in the description on the portion on how to get your Quest and your PC ready to sideload. Once that's all situated and set up, come back and let's talk about sideloading. Oh, you're back, good. Okay, so side loading is the process of loading programs, APKs specifically in this instance to the Quest from a PC into the Quest without going through the official store. So what that means is you can actually take experiences from your PC and put them on your Quest and play them, which is mind blowing and there's a lot of awesome content on there. And a laptop really allows for that to be even easier because if you've got a 64 gigabyte Quest 2, for instance, and you don't want a ton of stuff on there in order to clog up, then you can actually bring your laptop with you, plug it in with a USB-C cable and use that cable to load those programs onto your Quest. One thing about the Zephyrus 15 is it has a USB-C port already on it, which makes using Link and it makes using side loading extremely easy and very 
functional. So just take your charger with you, which you would with your Quest or Quest 2 anyways, and use that to load stuff onto your Quest. Let me give you some tips and recommendations on things you should check out. First off, there are some awesome side quest first person shooters like Pavlov and a new one that I just discovered called Aim XR, which is a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of Counter-Strike. There's also RPG games, puzzle games. There's a plethora of different things to check out. There's even paid games that you can buy through Itch.io and it's just a really awesome library of mostly free and some paid stuff that you can check out aside from the official Quest store. And this really opens up the option for you to be able to load a lot of new stuff onto your Quest while on the road, which is another awesome part about having a laptop. When looking specifically for a laptop for the Quest 2 to take on the road with you, whether it's to sideload content, to offload footage, and even to play some PC VR games, there are some things you should look for to make sure that you can get the best for your money. When looking at the minimum specs for PC VR, I check out the Rift S minimum specs because that's a Essentially what the Quest 2 is becoming. Another thing to remember is to try to find a laptop that has a USB-C port if possible. It'll make things easier for you because you can take one cable with you both for charging and for using Link or for putting on SideQuest applications if you're going to do that. That way you don't have to try to have two different cables that's packed. It just simplifies the process. There you go. There are some tips and tricks on using a laptop with your Quest or your Quest 2 when it comes to both side loading and using PC VR content. Content. If you have any questions, please leave them down below for me. I'd love to answer anything you have for me, and I'll try my best anyways. Thank you again to Intel and Asus for making this video possible and sending me the awesome Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15, powered by the 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Quest and Quest 2 content and hit that bell icon. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and Happy questing. Don't forget to head to the link in the description to find out more about the Asus ROG Zephyrus 15 with the 10th generation Intel i7 processor.